Hi Scorpio, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You vs Them read. Scorpio, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Scorpio, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. So Scorpio. Okay newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person and in the center I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies etc. If this is your reading Scorpio, you know which side you'll resonate best with, right? For me, for me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, Knight of Cups. Does somebody want to quit working on a certain connection and move towards their Two of Cups? A brand new love maybe? They've been a bit disappointed and they they want to return back to something which makes them happy. Uh, the other person feels this is all just drama or they don't want their person to you know, move towards their passion. In fact, they want a second chance. They want to talk. They want, they see, they just want things to change and their person to take responsibility of this connection. I am going to clarify these cards, of course, uh, Scorpio. Let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then I'll clarify these. Uh, Scorpio and that person's spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Scorpio and that person. Scorpio and that person's spirit. Scorpio and that person. Alright, let's take a few more Scorpio from another deck. Scorpio and that person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Scorpio and that person. Just a few more Scorpio from a third deck as well. This could be, I mean this is a strong connection. Okay, let's start, start the reading. And Scorpio, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email uh, is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card says, I need some time to collect my thoughts. I get defensive when I feel you're getting too close for comfort. Manifesting myself so I can be good enough to win you back. You seem distant, not yourself. I feel you pulling away from me. It's the little things that you do that make you so special. I have to juggle a lot of responsibility right now. I'm shutting you out. Just say something to me. I need more time. I have so, so much to say. I can't move on from you. I have a hard time focusing on you when I'm tra trying to build an empire. When I thought about how bad I hurt you, I literally cried. This lifetime didn't work out. Hopefully I can do better next lifetime. You made me realize I had flaws. I'm trying to do better now. Alright, so some, one person needs a little more time to figure out what they want and the, or what to invest in and the other person is just saying, hey, can we just come back together? At least that's, the, that's what I'm seeing in the cards as well. So before I start clarifying these cards, Scorpio, let's take an angel blessing card for you. Let's see what my angels are going to bless my Scorpio gang with today. Blessing, guidance, advice or a message. Practice makes perfect. 
try try you will succeed i don't know what who's trying to do what but uh, what spirit is trying to say keep at it and you will have success okay spirit tell me now uh, i'm going to start with person a's energy and newcomers i don't know which side you're on this is not gender based i don't want to know which side you're on because i want to be fair to both parties okay and uh, of course this could be your love is love interest spouse could be your best friend could be your business partner could be a sibling or a, you know a relative or something who's totally in your energy right now once you hear the reading you'll ex you know exactly which side you're on and who this person is for you so right now i'm going to focus only on one side which is person a for me so person a what's the three of pentacles in reverse in your emotions and your feelings person a is very frustrated right now very very frustrated they know they if this is if this is a choice that they have to make they know they have to drop one option it's like very frustrated how do how do i work this out now i have to make a decision soon and because they're not being able to make a decision i think this person is getting more and more frustrated each day uh two of cups what's the two of cups two of cups This person wants to follow some passion of theirs. They want to stand up for what they want, but they feel blocked right now, or they feel uh, they are unable to have what they truly want with the person who they want. Things are very stagnant in their life because they know they need to drop something before they can head out to what makes them happy. Why do you feel this way, person A? Tell me. Seven of Pentacles. uh they want to be fair maybe they feel that if they make a decision or a choice or of whatever they want to invest in they may end up disappointing somebody and this person wants to be fair and just and right uh that's why that's the reason they're feeling blocked uh, in they're not being able to choose uh, how to make a decision or what to give up uh, before they can move on they to try could be trying to find out some information before they uh make that final decision they're trying to get to know to get to know some truth yes this person this person is hiding a lot of their emotions right now because they somewhere don't know which direction is going to be their wish come true or what they should do whether they should be rebuilding i don't know okay so give me one more or whether the person who they want to go towards them even loves them yeah is the door still open this person is in between right now they just don't want to have any kind of conflict to disturb them right now see it's like they they are they are stopping themselves from moving forward right now because they know till, till they don't make up their mind they cannot move forward and that's really frustrating this person they're very frustrated because they need they know that without making that choice they cannot go either way and they're trying to find out some truth for themselves figure something out before they can make that decision and they don't want to suddenly make a decision and disappoint uh, somebody and because they want to be fair they want to be right they want to do the right thing uh, this person could be a bit depressed as well right now okay so person a tell me uh, how do you see the connection now how do you feel about person b eight of cups in reverse i think they know that person a wants to return back to them and feels a very strong bond with them but yeah and they they know they know that person b wants to return back to them maybe if this is a marriage or something they know that person b wants to heal things with them uh, they could be a bit stressed out could be having some anxiety sleepless nights because they don't know whether this can work out in the long long term uh, hierophant in reverse because you guys already have some bad memories in the past with both of you maybe something broke down in the past some bad memories were created now they know that person b wants to return back and that could be giving them anxiety and sleepless nights because 
uh, I have a feeling person A was almost on the verge of turning their back to this connection and uh, moving on towards new love or something. Am I right, person A? Yeah, they they were they were trying to unchain themselves or get unstuck from a situation, but. Uh, I think there's been some some communication and they don't want to make the make a foolish choice or an unwise decision by doing something that they feel they they don't know they don't know whether because already I think there's been some disruption in this particular connection in the past so Let's see what action this person will take. I'm going to open this card later, Scorpio. Let's go to the other side and see how person B is feeling. So person B, in your emotions, you have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you don't want... Person B says, I don't want them to move on towards any passion of theirs. I don't want them to be a player and go chasing after their own desires. I want to put an end to that. Why? Because I think person B really does want a second chance here. They want to revive this connection. Judgment, judgment, they want to start again, start from scratch, yep, they, they want, they want this judgment again, but uh, they feel that that person is uh, just not moving, not coming towards them with a the love offer, uh, I think um, they are disappointed that why aren't they coming towards me, uh, I think person B is um, trying to manifest uh, person A to take action towards them but they feel they're just being stubborn and they're just being you know they're, they're being silly and stupid and stubborn and you know making wrong choices why do you feel this way person B eight of wands what's the eight of wands what's the eight of wands I think person B is a little scared of uh, Mm, the fact that they may not get this offer, they're scared to communicate or maybe something, I don't know. They're scared that they will not receive that love and things can get stagnant. Or they feel I'm being taken for granted. What's the, yeah, I think person B is waiting to be to hear from person a yeah they're waiting for communication from person a even though they are scared that they may not get an offer they are hoping and wishing and praying that person a will take a leap of faith and come in their direction i think person b has been waiting for person a to make that final decision they also want to know the truth and the truth that they want to hear is that all is well things are well we are moving forward in a positive direction i think person b wants to feel victorious in this connection and they want all this trouble to be gone so that peace can be restored um, page of pentacles what's the page of pentacles they're disappointed because uh, and there's been no co communication till now. Maybe person B has been waiting for person A to pick up the phone and tell them, hey, everything is good. But that hasn't happened yet and that's disappointing them. They've been waiting for that message or some communication which has not come. And because things are stagnant, person B could be feeling very unhappy, feeling very, very unhappy, feeling, oh my God, I don't know whether my wishes will come true or not. So... Person B, tell me, how do you feel about person A now and how do you feel about this connection? Person B says, I see person A as my be all and end all. I see I see them as my perfect partner. I, I respect them. I admire them and uh, I want them to do right by me. I see a happily ever after with them. I want to maintain status quo with them and uh, I want to work things out with them. I want to work things out with them. I think person B is a bit afraid that person A is giving up. They're giving up uh, on some silly desire of theirs, which is, you know, not really important. And they're just following their passions for, you know, disrupting things. Maybe person B fears that person A is walking away, maybe ending things with them. But person B actually wants them to choose them, to be strong enough to make a decision to transform 
this connection so that okay tell me about the death card tell me about the death card any person be wants this they want they want to retain their position here or they want that offer uh, they are a little angry they're a little angry even thinking that this can come to an end mm, they're very upset and angry that person a is not hasn't already started putting the work in or hasn't called or hasn't made the decision or is not moving towards them i think person b at the moment sees person a is very selfish very selfish very self-centered thinking only about themselves following their own passions that is wrong i'm upset with you uh, they don't want to be alone or they don't want their person to get single and move on. Yeah, I think there is a bit of fear on person B side that uh, maybe person A will find new love. But in, on their side, I think what they're trying to tell me is I do want to rebuild. I do want to rebuild. So, okay, let's see what actions you guys will take then. I'm going to take another deck for this one, Scorpio. And uh, while I shuffle these cards, may I please request you if you could just tap the like button for me, please. Helps the videos to circulate, keeps me motivated. Thank you. And I'm sorry I had your camera at a very weird angle. You couldn't see the cards. Okay, better late than never. All right, so person A, action from your end towards person B or otherwise. King of Cups in reverse. I think person A is right now a lost soul. Why the king of cups in reverse? They know they have to do the right thing. They want to do the right thing. They are very stressed out. They are ha having anxiety. They are having sleepless nights. They are feeling... They're feeling bogged down with responsibilities, I think. This person could be feeling very lonely and sad and maybe just spying on somebody else or but still not being able to move. They feel bogged down by responsibilities. I don't think they've made a choice or a decision yet even now. They're just feeling emotionally very empty because they know they need to do right by maybe their partner here. Let's see. Person B, uh, action from your end towards person A or otherwise. Six of Cups in reverse. What's the Six of Cups in reverse? What's the Six of Cups in reverse? Ace of Cups, Seven of Swords, Eight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, Ten of Wands. Person B says, I just want to know the truth. I just want to know the truth. Are you cheating on me? Are you lying to me? Are you moving towards new love? Um, they want to communicate. Person B wants to communicate because they want to know the truth. That will there be action? Will this come back? Or is that person packing up and moving on towards new love? I don't know. I think person B is getting a little agitated because they just want to know one way or the other and person A somewhere doesn't want to say anything which is going to be hurting, they want to do right, they feel I have to do, I have to be fair and this person is not, not ready to make that decision, they're just very anxious. Uh, okay, so what was bottom of my deck, let me see. Yeah, see, uh, Knight of Cups. What's the Knight of Cups? How is this the overall energy for Scorpio's reading? What's the Knight of Cups spirit? Knight of Cups. Strength, the Empress, King of Swords and the Tower. I told you, some, I maybe, I, you know what the feeling I get is somebody wants to move towards new love but they are stuck. They are stuck because this could be already an established connection of the emperor and the empress and somebody knows they need to provide or they need to step up or they need to 
just be fair and they need all their courage to do that i don't know this person is going through a huge tower moment right now they are stuck i'm i'm sorry to say as much as this person wants to move forward on their own i think in their chariot but they are they are unable that's i guess all till i mean like yeah see they're stuck confused stuck wanting to have victory but if they go towards their victory they get seen as somebody who's irresponsible so that's what i have for you scorpio till next time then love and light take care namaste